Ruben, Ruben Weir. I'm a guitar player, I guess, and a singer for the last few years. I, I never thought of myself as a singer before, but people seem to like it, and they actually pay you more money if you sing, so I started singing. Um, I play guitar basically my whole life. Since I was a kid, there wasn't really a lot to do around my house, so I got bored, and we didn't have a television, so I started playing guitar, and um, I'm mostly self-taught, I guess. I... But anyone who was around who would play, I would just, you know, ask them a gazillion questions and get them to play with me, show me songs, and then I'd try and learn songs. And, yeah, I just kept doing that until it just sort of became what I did, my identity with my friends. And, and, and yeah, I guess that, that basically turned into who I am, is Ruben with a guitar.
who are you playing with? My friend Stuart Monroe. Interesting. I uh, when I was thirteen, I took one guitar lesson, and my I, I was living on an island at the time, and Stuart Monroe moved there, and he was playing with a group called Senyata at the time. Um, that's still actually playing around Victoria, and he was living there, so uh, I called him up and went over to his house and had a guitar lesson, and that was when I was thirteen, and then I only had one lesson, and we sort of jammed. He didn't. I mean, it wasn't really an official lesson, but then maybe, uh, maybe about 10 years after that, I, I met up with him again by chance and we started jamming and then, and then we've been probably playing together pretty solid for the last two years since I moved to Victoria. Um, he was a, he was living in a house at the time with a, with another friend and I could just go over and play anytime. So we just started jamming a lot. And the music that I do is, it's really a two person, at least two people. You need, you need two sides to be able to bounce off each other. And it's not really like a very solitary single thing. I was always influ influenced by, uh, by improvised music. And I guess first it started with playing the blues and I did, I put, albums on and just play along with them and pretend I was, you know, BB King and turn up my amplifier really loud. And, and then it moved into sort of pushing more into the jazz realm where it was more about improvising. And, and then I, I heard a, a Stefan Grappelli tape when I was a kid and I just like, oh, it would always make me happy. And then and then it wasn't until a few years after that that I heard uh, Django Reinhardt, and I really took to his his musical ideas, and well, I guess a lot of people have, but it was just um, it it was a very happy sort of like, but very moody at the same time, and it would just but it would appeal to people. So I sort of adopted the the um, the nineteen thirties swing aesthetic in my playing. And also from, from American players like Fats Waller and guys like that. I think of it as uh, there are people who write a lot of songs and write really like like singer-songwriters and write lyrics and, and, and work their music that way. And there are people that improvise music. And, and uh, so I sort of th I think of it as like no two improvisations are the same and, and it's sort of Sort of my version of writing a song is is just taking a form and then just playing whatever comes to me. Oh, Mrs. Murphy, could you know, just lie the off of me? Just so far with a can of old tea. She drank up most every night, and who else should dream? Till something rough got in the stuff and made her neighbor scream. Oh, and who put the bends in dream? She was a shame on who to blame. The old lady didn't even get his name. Say, where did you get that stuff? That just can't get enough. Father and the man wasn't there. Say, no, Jack, that guy's a square. Now she stays up nights making all the rent. This lasts about 69 pounds. Miss Murphy says, getting off the thin. And now she's give me some skin. didn't even get his name Thin. And now she's give me some skin, pop 
Is playing music for a living playing music for a living um it's a brilliant thing i never thought it could happen and as a kid people always told me that it was like um it was like something that only happened to like one percent of the people and you, you had to try and try and try and you would make absolutely no money until one time someone would see you and then you'd be huge and you'd be a, a millionaire and uh, I, i've now figured out that that's completely false and that you can you can basically make eke, eke away a, a living doing doing jobs like anyone else can. And I like to think of myself as like the handyman of music where I get hired to perform a function and I'll go and and I'll play music at, at a wedding, I'll play music at a at a dinner, I'll play music at a party, I'll play music at, you know, bar mitzvah, anything. But it's it's a service that I'm providing that people will pay me and and I'll go play for them and and I really like that because it it, feel, it makes it really rewarding where it's it's like instant instant reward like like and it's like a job I, I get paid when I play and it's great because it can support me to sit at home and play more and and that's really the the whole idea behind behind my life just being able to do that so I feel really lucky actually very lucky. Can you talk about some of the bands that you play with? Right now, I guess um, I have a few bands on the go. I have a trio with Stuart, who you saw earlier, who was who was playing with me, and Clark Brandon on bass, and and we play maybe a couple times a week in various establishments, and then I have a group that's a, a five piece, and we do more of the dance circuit, but still with swing music. And um, that's an interesting band. It, it's sort of like a novelty band, but we get lots of swing dancers, and it's it's quite a bit of fun. And then I play with another group. So that one, the five piece dance band, is called the Capital City Syncopators. And then the um, the other group is called Brishin, and it's built around a, a virtuoso guitar player. And so I'm the support role, sort of like what you saw Stuart doing in the video. And so that that plays around quite regularly and then um i do fill-in gigs with with groups like the yiddish columbia state orchestra which is their local klezmer band um and and the swing circle like you, you go and you play with everyone's band so that always happens and then i've been doing a duo with a bass player named tim croft and sometimes that gets to be a bigger band and and so yeah um Basically, just whoever I can play with, and a lot of the restaurant gigs are fun too, because you get to you get to hire new people whenever you want. I did a um, last Wednesday. I did one with just guitar and saxophone at a restaurant, which was really quite nice. Um, it's just good to change it up and always keep it interesting. <laughs>
where can we find your music online? Um, I, I have a website. I built it a little while ago with some help. Um, it's called rubenweir.com. And as my name is spelled a little bit weird, so R-E-U-B-E-N-N-W-I-E-R.com. What's the future hold for Ruben Weir, the musician? Well, more, just more music in general. I, the future for me, um, I'm hoping that I just will become a better player the more I play and just grow as a musician and get to know more people, more connections and everything. I'm just hoping that it keeps going basically the way it's going. One of the groups that I play with, we just we just recorded an album, so that'll be coming out soon. And so hopefully that'll entail some, some touring and some better shows with that one. Um, but yeah, I think that the great thing about having music as, as a living and a, as a job is you never know what's going to happen. And it keeps, it's very alive and very changing. And I guess that's a, also a nerve-wracking thing because... Um, yeah, you don't know if you will have work in a year, but but as things, I, I think that as things go on, it always just keeps coming around. And as long as you believe that things are going to work out and you're always going to be supported and you keep keep growing as a musician, I think the important thing is, is to keep growing as a musician and then not to worry about um, being supported in life doing that, but just to worry about bring something new and and learning exciting things that you can share and yeah hopefully the future for me will will be a lot of a lot of good times ah uh...